know what makes me sick? You know what makes me so mad? I just want, I want to put monster truck tires on the wiener mobile <laughs> and chase down them idiot PETA protesters. I think by now most people have figured out your basic member of PETA is a mentally challenged, self-righteous nitwit. Yeah, in a nutshell, PETA's a group of blowhard losers who love animals more than people. That's it. Now, this is our big campaign right now. Happy chickens. No, you heard me right. Our chickens are not happy. You see where PETA protested that Easter egg hunt at the White House? Because they used real eggs from unhappy chickens? They're protesting Colonel Sanders because they kill unhappy chickens. Now, just for grins, let's come up with a list of problems facing this country. You got your economy, jobs, terrorism, health care, government spying on us, illegal aliens, drugs, poverty, crime. I'm pretty sure now in the top 500 list of things we got to worry about in this country, happy chickens ain't going to be on there. And number two. Do you watch cable news? I'm pretty dang sure we don't got no happy people in this country. So why in the hell should we have to have happy chickens? And when you think about it, if all our chickens was happy and content and fulfilled, it'd be a little awkward wringing their necks. Once again, this proves that them PETA people got their heads tucked neatly up their egg vents. They don't know nothing about chickens. I know chickens. I growed up with chickens. I raised chickens. And you know something? You spend a little time around chickens, you don't mind killing them. And honest to goodness, you are not that concerned about their state of mind when you do it. Wake up, America! Peter says if people knew how chickens were treated, they wouldn't eat them. Well, I got 11 herbs and spices to say they will. I am Earl Pitchamorican. Like me on Facebook and Pitzel.